Welcome back to PJ Chain Design. Today we are going to talk about 3D printer. Behind me is a machine from, from Frozen Company and it's a Frozen Shuffle 4K. They sent me the machine for the review and I'm going to review specific on four points that most of the jewelry wanted to know. First, is it easy setup? Second, is it easy operated? Third, what is the printing quality? And finally, what is the casting quality? Are you ready? Let's get started. There are many online resources you can find for the specification, like what type of LED, how much power, or things like that. I would like to focus on the four point that I mentioned earlier for jeweler's operation. Here is a quick video for unboxing, and this is the content that where it's coming from. The machine is quite small, and it's like a desktop. You can put it anywhere. Uh, for me, it doesn't create a lot of the noise nor overheat the machine when it's run. So this is the setup uh, calibrated process. You put full paper and unscrew the um, the plate to make it loose. And then you have the calibration going on and the, it's going to bring down the plate and touching the screen there. And after that, you just need to make sure the uh, paper are tight so they are even and then you want to tidy it up the screw so the plate is set flat usually you only need to do once uh, unless you are uh, doing significant change right after that you put the vet in there and i'm going to test two kind of the resin here the first uh, resin is from the frozen uh, resin and if you go to the shop under the their uh, resin category the very last one this is a castable resin so before you start it make sure you shake um, the bottle really well um, it may sit in there for a while and it's sitting on the bottom so you want to make sure it's evenly then you want to pour in into the vat that you have here um, you do not want to over pour just less than half it's plenty enough to making a lot of a ring here. For the frozen slicing program, you will need to go to the frozen and you can come into the support. Right on the support here that you can find the software and this is the one you're going to download It's called frozen PZ slice and that's the program that you have to have in order to operate in the machine. So when you're coming into the PZ slice software, this is what you're going to see. And basically this is the bed. Um, you can come in over here for the setting. Under the setting, I have shuffle 4K. And this is the machine I have. If you have other machine, you can actually choose them over here. And then you can choose a, a different type of a material. I'm going to use the castable resin. So it's gonna be wax slide. You can choose the uh, thickness. There are two thicknesses you can choose from here. Um, you can go in to edit more if you want to change the cure time or speed or things like that. I usually leave it whatever it is here. And to operate in this machine is quite simple. You can just um, click on the any view you want. This is the ISO view, and you can rotate it or um, changing you know the angle uh, for whatever you see is fitting into your view. And simply we can drop in the model by uh, open the file or import a file. I'm just gonna drop whatever file in there. So now you have this right here. You can move them around. Um, you can you can sprue or you can you can do whatever you wanted to do uh, to slice it. So I use third party to slice it to save your time. I'm not gonna go into detail on this and, and tell you that this is not a super uh, good slicing program, but you have to have this to import into the machine. So I'm going to quickly get into the third party slicing program. And the program that I'm using a lot of um, frozen user using this program is called Cheetubox. And it's a free program to use. So if you go to the download and you can download low for free, they do have the uh, pro program, but I will suggest you to starting with the free program first. Once you coming into this program and you open the Cheeto box and this is the interface that you're going to see. And this is an example that I have to slice by this program, but I'm going to starting all over to show you how I did this. So basically you got 
the setting here and then you want to choose your printer if you are using other printer and you can actually add in the new printer and they have all kind of uh, different soft uh, different printer that you can use for this software so once you pick up there you're gonna come in over here and you're gonna pick up which kind of a resin that you have each resin have a different profile i have um couple different kind of uh, resin that I already set it up here and to know what is the number here uh, it takes me a little bit time to find it but I end up the manufacturer email me this setup I'm going to have this link at the description below to share and this is the setup that uh, we have I have two resin that I'm going to try it out from frozen company the first one is number 11 and this is a casting resin and then you have a wax light um, green color and the other one I'm going to try is more refined. This is a wax dye violet cast castable resin. It is in the dark purple color. So they have the setting right here. You just need to follow the setting to import into the setting in the Cheeto box right here. So once you changing the, um, the setting in the Cheeto box, we're gonna close here and we are ready to import the model. So to import a model, we can just open the file and we're gonna op we're gonna put in some file. So I'm just going to drop in some of uh, the file over here. So for example, I dropped that first one and this is the ring. Uh, I'm going to do the test and then I'm going to open another file. I'm gonna drop in maybe those two as well. So then they will automatically kind of spread it out. Uh, I'm going to drop another one for this ring over here. Okay, so, and I also on the model, I put it where the sprue is going to be. It's much easier. I'm using the print itself as a sprue for the casting. Okay, so to actually, to sprue them, it's quite simple as well. So we're gonna use this as an example. Look at the right view here. This is highlight into the blue color. And I'm going to click on the next one. This is for sprue. Very quickly, you see it's leave up for two millimeter because right here on the high we want to set it for two so I'm just gonna zero uh, put it into the zero is because I already have my main sprue here I don't have to lift them up I'm going to click it back to my list and coming back to here so nothing will be lift up all right uh, the good thing about this program is everything that mark in red it will be the suggestion for you to put the sprue there uh, so it's quite easy to sprue so for example you can adjust your sprue for whatever size that you want uh, everybody have a different preference I'm going to stay with whatever it is right now and right here for example I move my mouse over this area and I click then you will have uh, one support over there and sometimes you can use the support as a casting sprue and sometimes you just need to remove them if they are too many so I'm gonna come in here and to click on the part that I feel like it needs uh, some support here. So I'm gonna click one there, click one there, and um, maybe one more here, and one more here. And this is like super red area. I wanted to, uh, to make sure that it will coming out. So I'm going to click somewhere about here, here, and here. And you might also wanna do some tests if you never actually um, play with the support before. Okay, so I think that will be good for that one. I'm going to go ahead to um, putting the support uh, on every of them. Of course, you can do automatically support, but I find out automatically support usually give me way too many of them. And whenever you remove a support, you're always having a mark over there. So you might take some practice. Uh, for you to get to know where you actually need to put your uh, support in there but it's quite easy to learn so don't worry about that it is like okay is it any specific way I will suggest you to try out okay so I think that one will be good there and then we're gonna try this two more here once here once here and coming over usually uh 
uh, wear on the top. So I pretty much I don't want I don't want to give them like way too much because you're gonna remove them. But especially in this top area, I just want to make sure they will come out. And the very last one here. And look at the bottom of this um, animal right here. You see this area. So I wanted to make sure that they will come out there. And you also want to sprue on the place that is easier to remove uh, because you know if you sprue in the area so hard to cut it it might have the problem later on to remove the support so i think that will be it and then so to save your material you might want to you know fill it up the whole things but for the demonstration purpose we are just going to do something like that you can rearrange them into the place or things like that okay so this is the demo and to again to save your material you probably want to fill it up you can rotate them uh, into the certain angle that say I want to rotate that guy for 90 degree and so I may want to come in over here um, to do on the Z and say that is you know you can you can rotate it whatever angle that you like okay so once we have a sprue and it's ready and you can kind of pre-see how they will be sliced and with this preview you know somewhere you know about maybe about this area where this piece is hanging over there that might be dangerous for it's not coming up so that might be something that you want to consider okay after i slice it it's gonna come like this I think that will be okay for not having another piece or just to make sure we can adding another support there okay so you kind of will want wanted to look at you know in all angle and imagine you know how is actually being sliced is every part every part will be holding correctly over there okay so once you slice it uh, the next step we are going to do is we need to save the file you can save the file into the cheat box file and come back to change it later so that's say i wanted to do um, testing 15 let's say 16 over here and we want to save the file it will save all your you know support and things like that and if you come back and feel like okay i need to move this one delete that one that you can do that and then uh, the next things that we wanted to do is because we want to import into another uh, frozen file so we are going to use as a save us as a testing 16 and i'm going to save when it's save it's save as a STL file and then we're gonna come in over here. All we need to do is the same uh, like what we did earlier. We want to import this file. So the file will be ready over here. And all you see is the file. You cannot change individually. That's the things. Uh, so all we need to do is have this file and slice and print for the model. Once again, Make sure that your printer is what you have, uh, Shuffle 4K in my case, and that's the material. And that's the thickness. Then we want to hit save. Then you will start slicing. Once it's done slicing, it will save into your C drive or whichever that you directed it to. Um, it's saving on my C drive a 3DP data file and each of the slicing will create its own folder. So let's open this one. This is the one that we had. It will give you a preview, but most importantly is this .phz file. And this is the file we wanted to transfer to the machine. So there are two ways to find a machine. Um, you can have it put into the USB drive or using your Wi-Fi. If you like to set up your Wi-Fi, at the screen right here, there's a Wi-Fi button on the right button. Just click on it and it will search your uh, internet option and uh, finding your Wi-Fi. Then you just pick the one and uh, put in the password and then that will be set up. You want to pay attention on this number here on the left top corner and that's a number you wanted to use. So if you're using your Wi-Fi like what I have here, um, once you connect it, you will get the number. And then you can just type in the number on your browser, then you will get this page here. Now, if you go to the plate, 
then you will show all the print that you have in the history. If you just the first time to using this, you will have nothing over here. So we are going to creating a new one. So coming into select file and you want to go into the folder that uh, you were just creating on the test 16. And this is the file that you are going to test. So let's go ahead to click on this file and open. And don't forget to upload the file. So once it's upload that you are gonna coming over here, you will see your test 16 is upload already. It will give you a preview for what that is. And really importantly, you have to choose what kind of the resin that you are using it. This is the tricky part. So I'm going to show you how to bring in those profile first. So coming in over to the second tab here, you got profile. And this is the profile that whatever the new resin that you are bringing and that is the one that you need to put the profile right here and the tricky part is how to find the profile and i have the link for you at the description below the two resin that i'm testing today is using the frozen um, their own resin if you go to the frozen website you may able to find this the one that i'm using um, for test is the casting resin on the number 11 and also on the number 12 wax like violet casting resin and so you need to put down those number exactly uh, onto the profile that you have and creating the new profile so for example um, this uh, wax like and it has the profile there and then once you have your profile and then you add it into it, you can come in back to the plate and you choose which type of the resin that you're using. Um, so for example, wax light, I'm going to click on that one and you have to hit update. Okay, so now this is right there on the internet for the testing 16, then let's go to the machine. When we come to the machine, we click on the plate and it will go through all the files that you already have. We are going to find a, a testing 16 and it will give you a preview for the first layer. And then you check OK and it will ask you if you want to confirm for printing. Once you confirm for printing, uh, the plate will going to move it down. And here is fast forward for five times speed on this plate going down to the bottom and getting to the resin. Now back to the normal speed, it will find the first burning position and then you can see that it will show for those ring to be print. In conclusion, for the first two parts on testing this frozen shuffle 4K, we are testing about the setup and it's quite easy to set up. It only comes with few parts and put it together, plugging, calibrated, it's ready to go. The second part we were doing the operation test which including slicing the model. Frozen may not have the best slicing model, but luckily we have a third party Cheeto box to use and it is free. With the Wi-Fi, you can bring the file from your desktop directly into the machine. The only part that I have a little bit difficulty is finding the right profile to use. So I have it including the link in the description below. Don't forget to check that out. For the next video, we are looking at the post curing and also the printing quality. And I will send those print for a casting company to casting silver. If you are in the membership program, don't forget to check out the behind the scene and some of the problem solving that I had. And for all of you, thank you for watching. See you next.